Hello again, everybody. Wayback Sports Cards. We're going to do a short break today. I bought these two Fleer 1992 baseball trading card jumbo packs at a uh, flea market. Uh, both of these, I got both these for a dollar. So uh, these were going for four bucks if I had bought these back in 92. So I got a pretty good deal. But these are pure junk wax. And you can see the packs are a little beat up. But I am going to open these 35 card packs right now for you. Gonna share a little bit of information on the product um, as I as I open these. So I'm not gonna do a slide, but I'm just gonna share a little information on these. Here we go. First card right there, the great Gary Carter. I believe the 92 Fleer's got the Roger Clemens uh, insert series. Um, right off the bat, second card, or third card, Ken Griffey Jr. This is part of the main set. This is the, the card 709. But uh, this, in later years, became an insert series, like a Pro Visions. But that's an awesome card of Ken Griffey Jr. And actually, these cards are look like they're in pretty good condition as well. But you can see card 709. This is a large set, over 700 cards. Um, uh Color photo for about uh, three quarters of the front. Team logo in the upper right hand corner. Name along the side, position in the bottom. Fleer 92 in the lower left hand corner. And the back has got pretty good. Another good color photo, card number, some personal stats, and then uh, career stats. So a uh, pretty comprehensive card. Um, the green design on the front mm, doesn't age well, but um, somewhat of a clean design, if not a not attractive one. Uh, but you can see the photo sometimes goes outside of the frame there, which is interesting. Gary Gaietti with the mustache. Greg Swindell. Pretty clean photos. I mean, this is junk wax, but you can see each photo's got pretty clean, in-focus photo. Good shot of the of the player. Um, even the, car, the shots on the back are pretty crisp. So even though it's a junk wax product, there's no key rookie cards here. Um, still pretty nice. Yeah, you can see even Mario Diaz got the dirt on the jersey. Nice, nice shot. Edgar Martinez, there you go, Hall of Famer. Before he DH, he played a little third base. Speaking of third base, Gary Sheffield started his career at third base and see him there. 92 was kind of his breakout year, had a big year, went to the Padres, had a big year. Uh, Brewers finally gave up on him, and uh, he was off to the races once he uh, broke out with the Padres. Bernie Williams, the great Yankee. You can see he's still wearing the glasses in this photo. He wore those early in his career, but early Bernie card. Didn't quite break out for another few years. Like, 94 was kind of when he broke out. You know, Hard-hitting Mark Whitten. Seen him quite a bit on this uh, in this feed. There you go, two Ken Griffey Jr. cards in the same pack. There is the kid. So already a banger of a pack, really. Paul Sorrento, Rance Mullenix, Vic Schofield. Love that old school warm up. That's nice. Jody Reed, Craig Shipley. These are good through the mail autograph cards too. Very um, not too glossy. They're bright. So they would show an autograph pretty well, and you wouldn't worry about losing these in the mail. But Eddie Murray, 3,000 hit and 500 home run club member. Kent Merker, Kurt Manwaring, Milt Thompson. He signed some cards for me through the mail already. Pete Smith. Ooh, another Pro Visions of Nolan Lynn Ryan. That's nice. Sizzle off the ball. Love that. And David Justice, the last card, and that's still kind of awesome looking too. He's got the uh, the tomahawk on the top of his bat. That's kind of cool. So that's one pack down. We're gonna open this second one, and um, but these are fun. This is, so far, this is a fun rip, and you could find these cards fairly cheap. I found these two packs at a yards, um, a flea market, for a dollar total for both packs. So you probably could find a box of these. Um, I would say uh, in the $20 range or less, full 36-pack box. I wouldn't pay much more than that. There's not a lot here, but 
pretty good looking cards. There you go, Rookie Sensation. So uh, Wes Chamberlain, and that is an insert. So there you go, there's a Rookie Sensation insert in here as well. It's Wes Chamberlain, didn't quite pan out, but actually the Rookie Sensation card is a decent design. The font's a little dated, but kind of nice. Not a bad card, hold on to that. Matt Noakes with the Yankees at the time. Mark Gardner. Mike Bordick, Frank Tenen, a long time pitcher in the majors. He did sign some autographs for me as well and also sent me uh, his testimonial if you're uh, interested in that. Prospects, Scott Brocious. This may be his rookie card. Scott Brocious before he, uh, probably most famous for his time with the Yankees, uh, 1998 World Series MVP. This could be his rookie card, so I'm going to hold on to this. Not worth much, but still. Not a bad card. Kirk Gibson, there you go. At this point with the Royals. League leader Scott Erickson. Mike Stanton. Not much here at the end. Tim Wallach and longtime player Julio Franco played into his 40s. So there you have it. That's two packs of, two jumbo packs of 1992 Fleer baseball trading cards. A couple of highlights here. West Chamberlain insert. Nice Nolan Ryan. A couple of Ken Griffey Juniors. There's one and there's the other. Get them both there for you. My thumb in the way, but there you go. So not too bad for a dollar. Can't complain. That is 1992 Fleer baseball cards. So we thank you for watching this short video with us. Well, it's not too short. It's about seven minutes now. But thanks for watching, and everybody have a great day. So long, everyone. Take care.